Hey guys, it's Johnny Tech Review. Today I have another quick review for you of this automatic hand dryer. So this is a different unit compared to the previous pension unit. Uh, this unit is actually a little bit thinner, so I like it a little bit better. Uh, the previous unit is really nice, but it's also really wide, and uh, I want to use this. This is probably about an inch or so smaller than the previous unit, and as far as performance-wise, it's roughly about the same. So guys, we have here everything that comes in the package. You got a little user menu. This has some instruction on how to use it and how to operate. There is also a specification here of the dryer. So it looks like we have 1800 watt dryer. It's a pretty strong dryer here. Have here some screw and some drywall hook for it and there's a template to install you have the option of mounting it uh, using in-wall wiring or you can use the included wire here to plug it in uh, which is what I will be doing so we start now with the uh, two allen wrench screw at the bottom here we'll take this off to take the cover off so we can mount it to the wall so here is the internal wiring uh, there's the motor pretty nice big motor this whole unit is pretty heavy actually got three cable color here so we got neutral, ground, and live, and uh, that match up to this guy here, so just have to tighten them in. So templates is installed and pre drill some hole. Uh, these for the whole hole for the whole patch. I haven't patched them up yet, but uh, I'm using the new hole here. So after I mounted this, what it looked like, the uh, drywall anchor was actually really good. So everything is in place, very secure. And now we just have to replace with the cover. So guys, here's the finished product. It looks pretty nice. Uh, it's definitely thinner than the previous unit I have. Works pretty well. I opted for the block in the wall because I'm not sure this will be permanent. You can also use in-wall wiring if you choose to. Uh, there is a light here. Um, this light here will stay red. And when you are uh, sticking your hand underneath, it will turn green. As you can see that was pretty loud and it turned from red to green and at the bottom there's also a blue LED light that will show you where you supposed to put your hand. And here just a quick shot of the bottom of the unit. You have your sensor right there and you have your L outlet right here and the L outlet is actually directed at about 45 degree angle toward you. Uh, so overall this is a pretty cool product compared to the previous pension one. This one has a nice slim profile. Performance wise it's roughly about the same and uh, you're getting a pretty strong fast a hand drying experience. When you put your hand underneath there, it will run for roughly about one second. As long as you keep your hand there, it will continue to run and as soon as you take your hand away, a second later it will stop. I love this cover here with the chrome finish. It's actually a metal cover and it has this nice stainless steel slash chrome finish and it's really nice. It does get dirty from water and dust, but it just matter up wiping it down, it looks nice again. Uh, the only nitpicking thing is that I really don't like the red light is always on. I wish that is a small red light, I'm not really interested in something so big, but yeah, some people might not uh, care about that, it's just a personal preference. So I hope you showed a little review, helping you in your budget decision. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment below. And as always, stay tuned for future review. Thank you.